Welcome back into Victorious Tarot. Today we are going to have a little chat with Matthew Guerra. And basically with this chat, I want to tap in with Matthew and put myself in his shoes as he's approaching the Preciado's residence. What's going on, Matthew? Show us what's going on through the tarot as you arrive to the Preciado's address. What is going on when you arrive to link up with Christopher? What is going on when you link up with Christopher? Two of Wands in the reverse. Fear of change and delayed travel. So automatically, for some reason, there's a sense of fear. And I feel like he wasn't leaving as soon as he thought he was leaving. We have the Knight of Wands. This is that fast action energy, that in and out energy. We all should know by now, this is Christopher's energy coming in really fast. He's coming in fast. We have the magician coming out in the outcome, which talks about the person who has all the tools they need to manifest whatever it is they need to manifest. In my mind, this is Christopher coming with the weapon. Clarity and messages. Matthew, please. What is it that you are afraid of at this point? What is the delay in your travel at this point? Why is Christopher coming in so fast with this weapon? The hangman in the upright. This talks about looking at things in a new perspective. The five of wands in the reverse. This is avoiding a conflict. So I feel like right away, he's like, oh shit, something's not right. And as far as we know, this goof troop over here probably had the weapon like exposed for Matthew to actually see it. So Matthew's energy is giving like, oh shit, here we go. I don't want no problems, but he sees the problem coming and bam. He's wounded. Four of wands in the reverse. Conflict with others. Leaving home. So I feel like this kid came in fast. Bam goes the gun. While Matthew was trying to escape. I, for some reason, is given this idiot exposed his weapon on his way to the vehicle. Or wherever he was, whether it was going in the house. As soon as they were on site with each other, this idiot had this weapon exposed. Ace of Cups in the reverse. This is self-love. Repressed emotions or somebody being selfish. That's that magician, which is the sun, right? He's off very much so. Wow. This is probably one of the most direct responses from the tarot I've ever seen. Like... Literally, shit was happening fast. Shit was happening fast. As soon as he saw this idiot, this idiot is probably running real quickly towards him, holding himself to make you know he has something up on him because there's fear right away. And Matthew is trying to get away right away. But it's too late. Ten of Pentacles in the upright. The wealth, the legacy. This is in the family, though. This is the family card. So I feel like this is Matthew now giving us the reason why. Page of Wands 
in the upright. Letters, phone calls, good news. Somebody received a message. It was supposed to be about good news. It was supposed to be about money. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Lies. Flat out lies. It wasn't about money. It was just to take their life. I mean, at the end of the day, it was about the money, the drugs, the guns, the whatever. But it was... That day, it was about taking, taking him out. I don't think they knew Savannah was coming. Maybe they thought Savannah would pass the message. But instead, she pops up with Matthew. Nine of Pentacles in the upright. This is an independent energy, a single independent energy. Three of Wands in the upright. This is waiting and planning. Three energies, planning and waiting. The Empress. The Chariot. Did he call Savannah or did this idiot use Matthew's phone to call Savannah at the car? Or this, did Matthew try to call Savannah to tell her to get the fuck up out of there? There's some type of call in this moment. Phone call, text message, there's something going on in this moment. And she's sitting here in the vehicle. And there's a text message or a phone call while she's in the vehicle. Did Matthew go inside these people? I think he went inside these people's house. And that's how that idiot was able to attack him so quickly. He had his guard down. And again, like I said from the beginning... When you look at that kid, you're not looking at somebody you think is going to have the balls to take your life. He look like a whole weirdo. And I don't like to judge people, but he just look off. We have the liar, the cheater, the thief. The page of pentacles. This could be good news or skill development. So, yeah, in the end, in the outcome, I feel like this is Matthew showing us this 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 MF -er called me to do this deal. But in the end, he lied. He just wanted to rob me. He just wanted to rob me. This liar, cheater, thief here. And this person holding on to that pentacle. He was robbed. This kid not only took Matthew's life, he robbed him too. That was the that was the setup. He robbed him. That was the whole point of him coming to rob him. Bottom of the deck is the justice card. There will be justice for sure. That's what I have for the moment Matthew got there and what a reading this was for me. They're, it seems like they are really anxious to get out everything they want to get out with this case because I don't care who you are right now. You could buy your fresh deck of tarot cards if you look for Matthew and Savannah. It's like they're so anxious to get it out. They just want it out. This, they need this to move on. They need the message to be out there to move on. That's what I have for Matthew and Savannah's case. And this reading was from Matthew's point of view the moment he got there.
like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.